Have you ever wondered how to use Campaign Cartographer 3? Then this video is for you. This is the first installment in the series where I'll walk you through exactly how you create a fantasy map with this piece of software. This is my preferred tool by far. And when we reach the end of this series, I hope you'll see why. In this particular video, I'll talk you through the basics layout of the software. And when we are back, I'll be sharing my screen. Welcome back. So we are now inside Campaign Cartographer 3. So what I wanted to do here is to give you a rundown of the different areas of, from which this software has been built and how it's set up. In the center of the screen, you have a viewing area. In this viewing area, you will always see what you're currently working on. I placed a mountain here uh, just for now. I'll come back to why. Um, but when you first start up your version of Campaign Cartographer, you will have their logo somewhere here. You will have some text below, which will all go away and look differently once you have started creating maps. Uh, so you, I will show you exactly how to set up your map in future videos. But for now, just know that this is your viewing area and you will most likely end up having it looking like this once you've done your first map. Up on top of the screen, we have a menu section. And all these menus gives us access to different options and commands. Some of them are quite advanced and we for sure don't need all of them to do what we want to do here. I will show you exactly what we need to do and how in this video series, so don't worry too much about it. You can see I've set auto save on. I always have this on. I would suggest that you do too. Because I have this on, campaign cartographer will also uh, ping me in a few minutes and ask me to auto save so there'll be a pop up on the screen don't worry about that that's what it does and that's what we like so just keep it right below the menu section is a status bar this uh, yellowish colored one which shows something about sheets, it shows something about layers, and it'll also show you what width of the lines that you're drawing are, if you're drawing solid lines, and so forth. What is important just now to know is that whatever layer, like right now I'm on something called vegetation, or whatever sheet, right now I'm on something called land features you're working on, that is important. If you are not keeping attention to this stuff, you might end up drawing something on a, on a wrong sheet on a, diff, on a wrong layer, which will cost you some issues later on. So don't worry too much about it just for this video. I will tell you in the later ones how to make sure that you're on the right stuff and you're doing the right things. But just adopt a mindset here to remind yourself on a continuous basis when you create your maps to keep this status bar in mind. Below this, we have some quick links. So you can see there is uh, mountains, there's forests, there's cities, and different things here. We're going to use these quite a lot. So these are a very useful set of quick links. Similar to these, there's also some tools over here where we can use to make default land masses. We can use it to make contour lines. Uh, rivers and so forth. These again are more or less quick links as well uh, and they will come in equally handy and we'll use them quite a lot. Below these we have different editing tools so here we can we can delete stuff that we have created, we can move stuff around, we can rotate stuff etc etc. Uh, we're not going to use that too much but uh, yeah at least for deleting it's good to know that it's here. Up here on the right side of the screen, we have some zooming tools. These are very, very useful and you will grow to like them a lot. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, but what is really handy is this zoom window. So I can zoom in 
And that was why I placed this object here before I started uh, recording to show you. So we can zoom in particular. So if I'm drawing something, if I'm drawing maybe a river that runs out from this mountain or I'm adding some contours of sand around it, it's very nice to zoom in so I can make sure that my drawing aligns completely to the edge of the mountain here, for example. I can zoom out again to give me the full view of my map. And then I want you to make I want to make you aware of this redrawing icon here. Now campaign cartographer does not update in real time. So when you draw your map, you will once in a while need to press this button. And what it does is basically it refreshes the screen and redraws it for you so that anything you've made, it will become visible. What usually happens if you have zoomed in and when you zoom out again, usually it will redraw by itself, but this is something to be aware of. So if you're wondering why can't I see what I just draw, drew on my map, this is why. Press this one. Below this, we have some drawing tools. We'll not use these, much, these too much, but you can see you can draw lines, you can make curves, you can make paths. You can do all kinds of things. There is also some text options here, which we will use when we start naming places on the map itself. Uh, but yeah, this is your drawing tools. Underneath here, you also have some other options where you can basically making sure that things connect well onto the map. So this one will make sure that I can make things interconnect, intersect. I can plug something onto a certain line. So if I have one, one line, line running here and I have another line coming in and I want it to connect to it, I can use this one to make sure that they stick to each other exactly on the spot. So these are useful, but uh, we're not going to use it too much either. Just uh, at the bottom of the screen here, you have some something called command. This command can be used to basically type in specific commands into campaign cartographer. So I, this is very advanced use. I will not do this. I, I have never done it and I've never needed to do it. If you do want to, then by all means, I'm sure you can find some good tutorials on YouTube on how to do that, but we'll not cover how to operate this part of uh, the software. Then what we have left now is one area here, which is basically a simple catalog. Right now you can see that it has mountains because I added a mountain. You can change it via these quick links. So let's say we want to do some forests. I can choose to do forest. It'll show me different options for forest. We'll come much, much more back into all of this later on, but it's just to show you how you can use this catalog here to gain access to all kinds of different structures and symbols to place on your map. It's a quite handy and very useful tool, this campaign cartographer, uh, and I can't um, recommend it enough. We'll come back to much, much more about how to create your map, but for now, you at least have a basic understanding of how this this piece of software is operated and a bit about where the different uh, buttons are located. We will then dive into details in the coming videos.